My next guest is a very talented actress. Her movie credits include Blood Brothers, Between the Lines, and the soon-to-be-released Hammett. She's best known, however, as Elaine Nardo on the NBC series Taxi. Welcome, please, Mary Lou Henner. You look great. Thank you. Very nice of you to be here. You look terrific. Thank you. It's we, so festive around here tonight. It is festive. The night before Thanksgiving yeah, and everything. I think uh, and the, the audience is excited about your appearance, and, and I know I am. I know the band <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> now, in the past week, we've had uh, yourself, yes. Carol Kane, and Andy Kaufman. That's right. And all, all people from your show. That's right. And last night, you had Grant Tinker, and he even oh, mentioned right. the show. That's right. Yeah. So it's, uh, we're do one you know, family Do you know now. Grant Tinker? I've met him. Yeah. I don't know him personally or anything. No, neither do I. So uh, well, I, yeah, I guess I do. I do yes. know him personally. He, does he make you nervous? He, 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 yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. But he's very, very nice. How, yeah. how are these other people to work with, uh, Carol Kane and Mr. Kaufman? And well, you, you can't really ask me that question using both of their names in the same sentence. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Andy is one story, and, and Carol's lovely to work with. <laughs> no. No, 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 actually, actually, Andy and I have a lot in common, you know, and uh, Carol's wonderful. She's, she's been a great asset to the show, too, because it's helped my character become more specific and her character more specific, and she's a lot of fun. Now, what, what do you and Andy have a lot in common? You said that you did. Well, we, we both love this one Japanese macrobiotic restaurant together, Anaka. You now, know, what does that so mean, macro? Is that what you said, macrobiotic? Macrobiotic. Now, what exactly no, 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 does no. that macrobiotic mean? No, no, macrobiotic just means that, you know, on the yin-yang scale of life and food and everything Folks, else. Folks, take out okay, your yin-yang yin no, 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 scales. No, no, no. And just very briefly, yin is sweet and yang is salty. And, you know, people after a salty meal always want something sweet. And so when you, when you deal in macrobiotics, you're dealing with food that's, that's not so salty and not so sweet, but sort of in the middle. Like brown rice and vegetables and sea vegetables and fish and things like oh. that. Oh. Okay. Okay, I was just, I don't, I don't know the meaning of the okay. word, I guess. Well, anyway, there's this wonderful context. restaurant in Los Angeles, and Andy goes to it, mm -hmm. and I go to it, yeah. and so we've, now I have something to talk about. <laughs> now, you, now you, the implication, no, he's he's, the implication he's here is I love that, that he's tough to, to get along with, but he's not. He's a very nice person, no. isn't he? No, and let, let's not talk about it. Okay. How about it? Let's uh, talk about something else. All right, now, uh, um. <laughs> Come on, we must have something else in common. Oh, we got plenty. Look at this. We got all kinds of stuff. Sheets and sheets and notes. We have reams of data here. Uh, we, you know what? You have a clip, right? We do. Yes, we have a clip do. of and an upcoming episode of Taxi. And you know why this, this uh, clip, this, well, this episode was so special? It's because Danny DeVito directed it, and it was his first Taxi episode ever directed by one of our cast members, which is great. You know? so. And, and what was fun for me in it is that I got to do a musical number that was choreographed by Debbie Allen, which is also very special. Mm -hmm. And I started it with uh, this episode with Mark Blankfield, you know, from Fridays. <laughs> this is an all-star cast here, you know. And also, I have an affair with a monk. Oh. So I figured that, that's pretty good, isn't it? Do you, do you think one day uh, Andy will get to direct an episode? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you so, want to look at this now? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, let me just this, tell you something oh, no, very sure. briefly about it. No, 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 because you're not going to understand it, no. right? No. Okay. What happens is there's a monk from Latkin Simcas country who comes. He, every, uh, he's been a monk for 20 years. Every 10 years, he gets a week off to do whatever he wants. So, <laughs> so we, um, that's enough. Okay, and, and that's what we'll see here, and it will be it's on... It's on the week after Thanksgiving. week after Thanksgiving. Yes. So uh, take a look. Use your uh, TVs at home. The monitors will work for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Lou Henner and I will return. We have to pause for a commercial. We'll be right back. Mary Lou Henner uh, and I are here, and uh, we just looked at the taxi, which will be on in a couple of weeks. Now, uh, tell me uh, about this trip around the world. Is that, oh, this oh, was not I work. had a trip around the world that really like, changed my life or just verified all the wonderful things I've ever believed about life, because I spent a month in Italy, for one thing, mm -hmm. and it was great. And, and uh, what I was saying before about yin-yang, not to bring up nutrition again, but you know how yin-yang is like the two extremes of life and something in the middle? Well, I've always been kind of this person who has, has sort of been in the middle. I grew up in the middle of the country, and I was the middle child. Chicago. And I sort of had this ability to 
to do both, you know, to, to be from one extreme to the other. And my trip around the world was like that because I started out at the Cannes Film Festival opening up Hammett, which is, a, I mean, if you know anything about the Cannes Film Festival, it's... It's a lot of paparazzi and it's a lot of questions it's and exciting. press conferences and stuff and it's real yeah. show business, you yeah. know. And from there, I went to Italy where I lived with a, a family in, in a ho slept on the living room floor of a housing project in Naples. Well, now, how does that and happen exactly? Where, where, at, what point does the, <laughs> at what point does the Good travel question. agent say, and you'll be sleeping on the floor when you get to Naples? How does... Uh... Oh, this, you know, you just have to leave yourself open to these experiences. Now, I traveled with a girlfriend of mine who knew this family. Oh, I see. So we drove from Genoa down to Naples. And then from Naples to Rome, I was on a train and struck up a conversation with the baggage man on the train and we became sort of friends and an hour into our trip there was a revolution in uh no no, no this was fantastic and in, in uh <laughs> Monte no, there was a revolution that people had strewn their bodies across the railroad tracks because they wanted an express stop instead of a local stop <laughs> <laughs> The Italians, they're great. You know, they're so full of life and everything. So we, we, <laughs> so we tra sat in between stations in this little mountain village for like three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And the, this man and I became friends. And he took me home to meet his wife and his, his parents and his children and his, you know, not his children, but his relatives and everything else. And I ended up in the mountains with them for 10 days. So it was just, you know, leaving yourself open. Now, to let life. me ask you this. Say you were taking the train from uh, uh, L.A. to San Diego. It would be a little different. Yeah. A little different, I think so. Say so somebody yeah. came, you met somebody from Italy. Would you invite them into your home for ten days? If, you know, if, if you have good, <laughs> yes, yes, I probably would at this point. Yeah. But I think if you have good instincts and you can pick up certain things about people, I think that you know you know when to trust people. Do you speak Italian? To. I do a little bit now. I yeah. know all the important ones. Well, one of my one of my favorite. Exp <laughs> with Danny DeVito and Tony Danza. So I learned the real important ones <laughs> a while ago. I just, it's hard for me to imagine this guy explaining to his wife, who spends most of her time up in the mountains, <laughs> uh, what, what your role will be there for the next week and a half, right? You know? Well, um, no, well, she didn't speak any English. Of course not, <laughs> no. sure. No, she didn't. <laughs> she, it wasn't like that. No, I know. Now, how, how old a man was he, though, just for the heck of it? 28. <laughs> no. Like that. Yeah. It well, that's an, that's an odd experience, unusual. Very unusual. Yeah, yeah. yeah but special. Then where else did you go? I went to Bangkok, and I went to Hong Kong, I went to Munich. Not, not in that order. That's <laughs> 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 a little strange. No, I went literally around the world yeah. for like nine weeks. It's pretty it exciting stuff. Very exciting. Very, yeah. very nice. And I'll tell you something. The thing that I noticed the most is that people really don't need language to be able to communicate, you know. I mean, I played a lot of charades as a kid, so it helped because I was able to point to things and act out a lot of things. But it, it, I learned so much because you don't, you, you can pick up senses from people without having to know what they're talking about. And you could sense that this man wanted you to come home with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're turning this. No, no, I don't I mean. I had an experience like E.T. and Elliot. That's what this oh, experience e. was like. E.T. and Elliot. E. Uh -huh. and Elliot. <laughs> no, God. Yeah. Uh, you're terrible. No, I hope you, you have always a nice, do this to me. Right? Have a have a nice uh, holiday. Yes. Yeah, okay. The gentleman up there won a turkey earlier. Did you see that, George <laughs> oh, Simon? Congratulations. Yes. Is George still there with the? Uh, <laughs> hi, George. Um, we we got to go away, but okay. we'll be right back. Thank you very much, Mary Lou, for being here. Nice to see you. And again, have a good holiday. I want to, uh, uh, Richard Morris, who was supposed to be with us tonight, will be here on Monday. We're sorry we ran out of time. I would like to thank Albert Brooks and, of course, the, <laughs> excuse me, the piece through uh, dramatization players, uh, our announcer, Bill Wendell Paul, and the gentleman in the band. Thank you very much. Have a nice holiday. Uh, Monday, or I'm sorry, tomorrow night, Carol King and Richard Lewis will be here. Have a good holiday. Goodbye. <laughs>